comment threads and Twitter feeds are easy places for me to set people straight. I have a track record of changing people's minds 100% of the time when I leave angry comments online. I am a social justice warrior. This is my keyboard. See it? When I'm behind it, I'm invincible. I can say anything without consequence. It helps me dish out social justice. Serving size large. What happens if I catch you saying something politically incorrect? I hit you with my five-step protocol. Step one, I ignore what you have to say. Step two, I make huge assumptions about what you meant and then I inform you about what you meant by what you said. Step three, I correct you. I tell you what you should think while also getting the point across that you're a terrible person. Step four, I turn my caps lock key on once you start trying to stand up for your own free will. Step five, finally, I hit you with my trump card where I trivialize your entire being into a one word label, like telling you you're a racist, you're a sexist, you're a misogynist, you're homophobic, you're heterophobic, you're transphobic, you're human-phobic. I'm like a doctor handing out complex diagnoses. When I decide to label someone with one word, I don't have to use my brain to understand them because I have a preformed understanding of the one word that I use to label them. So I can just understand the word that I decided to call them instead of understanding them. I don't actually stand for anything. I just crusade against everything I don't stand for which happens to be everything because I don't stand for anything. It's like I take on the virtues of cancer and then I spread those virtues when I attack. I spend my days and nights vigilantly patrolling the internet for anything that's not politically correct, which is everything. I'm like the Batman of the online world. I usually spend about four hours a day compulsively checking Twitter. I have 83 followers and I follow over 800,000 people which means people are severely interested in what I have to say. And then I spend another casual five hours a day looking for other opportunities online to assert social justice. I accomplish so much in a day that you can't even measure it. My purpose in life is to be right. Luckily, I'm always right. My ability to always be right is based on my ability to point out how everybody else is always wrong. It takes a lot of effort to be in a highly intelligent state of mind all day like I am. So I prepare for my day as a social justice warrior by reciting self-empowerment affirmations in the morning. Like, I'm not responsible for how I feel. I'm not responsible for how I experience the world. I'm not responsible for my life. Other people are always the problem. Are you okay? How dare you? You are not allowed to ask me if I'm okay. K is an offensive letter. It's hate speech because the KKK use it in their name. Legislation should outlaw K. You are a racist. Well, do you feel stable? You can't ask me if I feel stable. I have an uncle with an inner ear condition that makes his balance unstable. That is hate speech to people with inner ear conditions. You are an inner ear phobic. I don't create change because it's not a very effective way to facilitate change. Instead, I righteously demand that others change themselves. And I even more righteously demand that they create the change that I want to see. My favorite inspirational quote is, demand that others be the change that you wish to see in the world. Some people erroneously think that I'm not out for the good of the world, that I'm just crusading to feel significant and to get people to notice me. That's not true at all. In fact, that's just basic Marxist thinking, which is highly offensive. And I feel that you bringing it up is a personal attack on me because I'm a redhead. You're ginger phobic. I need a safe space for a moment. Being a social justice warrior is like having a get out of jail free card to bully people while pretending I'm helping people. Except it's not that at all. It's something much different. It's carte blanche. You should be able to say what you want. But before you do, you should have to give a trigger warning. But after a month of that, I'd start to get triggered by your trigger warning. Then I'd demand that you give a trigger warning about the trigger warning. And then after a month of that, I'd start to get triggered by your trigger warning about your trigger warning. And then I would require that you accommodate me and my new demands again. If you didn't know any better, you'd think nothing's ever good enough for me. That's hateful of you to think because I don't identify as me. As a social justice warrior, I'm an expert at communication. 
If you were an expert, then you too would know that swearing at people is the key to effectively communicating a point. And whoever uses the most capitals and hits the enter key the hardest is the winner of any online argument. You're welcome world that I'm here. It's tough to do what I do. I can do it because I'm always certain of myself. Did you know the people who everyone enjoys being around the most are the ones who are always certain of themselves? Yeah, fact. In spite of this, I make the sacrifice of always being alone online. People wish they could be around me more because I'm such a joy. But I have a duty to serve and protect society from everybody but me.